Curtis E. Hall, and she, after doing her graduate diploma in laws, has spent the last year working with Kajara's community worker in San Patrol, and she's going to perform these events. So give it up for the people. Restore your soul's real might 
and restart the spiritual revolution. Um, this next poem um, is called Let Love Set Your Heart Alight. Love. What is love? It's a powerful word, but so overused it's absurd. Intense, like the vivid exotic colours of the hummingbird. Love is an emotion. Love is about devotion. Love is peace amongst all the commotion. Love is a passionate fire. Sorry, love is a, yeah. Love is a passionate desire. Love is a fire. A fire in our hearts, longing to be lit, waiting to burn. But there is no glow. There is no spark. We are lost, like a ship sailing in stormy waters in the dark. For in this world we digressed, trying to impress and dress for success, forgetting the enemy within, the ego we have to battle and tackle, overcome before we succumb to the desires and the passions of all those bogus fashions that give us palpitations as we walk from shop to shop, trying to find happiness in our lives which seem like luster, to alleviate the worries in our minds, to get rid of all that clutter, to fulfil our needs, so whimsical, so random, so harmless, so material, so bacterial, multiplying, intensifying, occupying our minds, satisfying no one but the ego, dressing her, fortifying her, supplying her with weapons to take control, to achieve her goal, to overpower the soul, like a weed, growing like a tower, overpowering a beautiful flower. But the spark is not difficult to find. The calm shore is not far. Look around you, look inside you, to find out who you really are. Deep inside you, you will find the spark. Um, 
Um, the next we have um, Ibrahim Sincere. Uh, he's a rapper, a poet from London, a member of the group On The Deep. He's been described as someone who propagates a message of revolution, spirituality, and activism through his music in an intellectual and unique way. Uh, his Twitter page is on the sheets below, and uh, I think you should check it out at some point. So give it up for Ibrahim. Bring the candles up. We could have sat under the stars, but the mantis was up. That's where we made playgrounds out of buildings broken. See, they adapted well, never really brought bombs, but all these children were broken. Though inside they were burning, some four posts later, everybody's smoking. We grew up together, and by default, we should be on the same team, so why are you fighting with me for? Most of us kids could have blown like a C4, but we just fight until we see four figures in our eyes. Cause four figures ain't enough to survive, so you gotta be able to see before you see signs. Presentable contracts we ain't able to read, but everybody signed. I just let the devil in my life. What the hell did I do? I let the devil in my life. Now we won't spare my love. And we went through phases. I guess everything does. I remember sunny days and dark nights, but I guess everyone does. So my family looked at me bleeding like, that's everyone's blood. I pick up papers on a chain on. Never surprised at the state of the world today. And there's some dark people in a world of pain, but I can't connect to you if I can't connect to my wife. Like, wait, it says a Muslim man. Why is this religion so important? And how does that man sleep with the thought of the girl that he raped? I hope she'll be a great mother one day and see the image in his head turned her father insane. They took her father away. He worked hard to get to where he is today. Never contributed to another soul's pain. But then murder, any man would have done the same. That's the girl who used to hear your bedtime stories. Run into your arms and she found her glory. So any man would have done the same. I ain't saying that he should, but where do we go from here? Where do we ever go from here? I told him, throw the drugs away and only children fall in love with the rain until the pubs start to reflect a troubled full face and the light can only shine when there's nothing in the way he was almost persuaded but he couldn't pause that alone quit the game I realised I couldn't save him Now I'm stood here beside poetry I'm beginning to feel like I won't ever change things because I, couldn't, I couldn't persuade him So where do we go from here? Somewhere in the depths of your mind these words are supposed to materialise but they can't survive inside so they die and we die inside Why am I telling stories that I've told himself since back when Jesus and Nazareth came with a message that fell onto cold ears and prophet though. I'm lower than low. But these rappers keep speaking about what it's like being high with the prophet and dope. Plus it's beginning to seem like religious leaders just like being right. So how am I supposed to explain to my brother it's destructive to live what he likes living like? He told me he thinks religion is wrong. Yeah, he's young and he'd like to have fun. What was I supposed to say? It's not like you don't believe in God. It's not like you don't know that it's wrong over speechless. How do we find square one? And where do we go from there, but I must be dreaming. These thoughts just drag on. Spiral. Cause somewhere in between spiral and the dragon days and today we went down a long long path into silent hill all the residents are evil now. You were good hearted, I remember. You were good hearted, I remember. You used to give me salam before December, but now you walk with that religious crap. Oh, you religious now. And you advocate hate between Shias and Sunnis now. Even though you probably been to the other one's house when you were young and ate from his mother's plate when everyone was human. Still refused to understand it and fight on conquer strategy in the States. But you religious now, right? Nothing changes though. Everybody changes. People change and it's always the same thing. Issues ain't addressed in this community slave shit. Our community forwards and we commune in the matrix and guess what? Nobody's communicating. Saying it's wrong. How do we generate change in a lost generation? Trying to, trying to generate changes to pay for the mistakes of creation. On the mercy of desires, on the brink of a race and also ritual traces. But we go with the flow. Dark whispers. Sick as anything you know. Twist and turn through the holes in our spirit and our soul. They make their leaves whistle their words outside, but they lurk in a home, so where do we go? Okay, that's, um, I read it quite new, I don't even have a name for it, I'll just call it Broken Community for now. <laughs> um, I've got another piece called Sons of Liberty. Mother, by our struggle, we are the sons of liberty, but some of these people simply take the liberties. See, I can articulate the issue intellectually. Or I can drop it in a way where you don't have to think too hard, absorbing vocabulary, but just to reflect, just to reflect with me, and I'm not a source of that. 
I just try to let it reflect off me. But this is where it gets to me. Because we so scared of seeing what we hate to hear and hearing what we hate to see that we cover our ways and our eyes and shiver up hastily like, stay away from me. Because often have it in the darkness for so long, the light burns your eyes, doesn't it? And it probably takes someone to throw you off the side before you force yourself to fly, doesn't it? So before you fail and full spread your wings and believe that even